So when what I found is that all of us struggle with that. Yeah. Because we're so used to what the military brings to the table. I am sergeant such and such, or I am <laughs> officer such and such, and this is my job. And the military has given me task condition and standards on how to do this. And so we take in and embody that aspect of this is who I am. When honestly, I'm Greg Washington. I'm not right, 11 yeah. alpha, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I'm me and you're you. And so being able to stay connected to who you are and have a tribe and have a sense of purpose outside of the military that you are more than just your uniform yeah. and your MOS is key. Right. You know, to, to your sanity. And so, you know, when you speak about all the things that you've gone through and then finding that confidence, you know, for me, part of it has been, well, how do I define myself? Who am I? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I, I often tell my mentees to follow the breadcrumbs. And that's what I teach myself. Like there was this uh, Christian rapper by the name of The Truth. And he has this song where he talks about finding your purpose. And he often says the very things that frustrate you most in life, the things that make you smile the most in life, the things that bring you the greatest joy or even break your heart. Those are breadcrumbs or little symbols that align with who you are, who you're created to be. Right. Um, and if we pay attention to those things, we'll find that those breadcrumbs were there even before we left the military. And then those breadcrumbs are still there after you leave the military. And so you really like you hone in on that. You'll start to see a pattern. You know, like I, I saw very early on, like for me, like I really care about fighting for people who are underestimated or people who are oppressed or you know, it's a, my favorite movies in the world are um, are either the underdogs, those who turn it around, right? Where like they, you know, you start low and then like they end up, you know, a high note, but they also end up helping all the people along the way who, who believed in them or um, not bad revenge stories, but the revenge stories where like someone did you wrong and you worked really hard to get revenge and then you found out like that wasn't the way and you showed everybody like a new paradigm and then it started to make sense, right? Like why is Mary always like fighting for justice or speaking up for people? Well, I have loved those movies and those stories since I was seven years old. Those are the Cinderella's of the world. Right. I love Cinderella. Cinderella is my favorite Disney movie in the whole wide world. I don't care what else comes out. Cinderella is it for me. And I can see the breadcrumbs. And so, you know, you were saying earlier, like knowing that you are more than just your MOS or rank, you've always been more than just your MOS or rank. You just chose to channel your, your gifts and your talents into the military. But you don't lose who you are once you leave. It is, it is the challenge is getting in touch with that and figuring out how to take everything you've learned and all the skills and experience and the leadership you've gained from the military. Now using that to, to realize your greatness now, right? And constantly doing that. And not being able to afraid, being afraid to pivot too, because you might find yourself along this pattern. Oh, that don't really feel, but I've committed. No, pivot, pivot. We have to reserve the right to pivot until we align with our purpose, right? And that's, I think that's what drives me. You know, it's like, Mayor, if this don't feel right, this is not, you know, Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer say, if this something don't quite curl, like if it doesn't quite curl, then Mary, keep going. Because there's a true you, right? There's a true Mary. And, you know, I won't rest until I find that. You know, and I think we we all have those breadcrumbs in our life if if we start to pay attention. Yeah, I like how you said that. There's a true you, just like there's a true north. Yeah, <laughs> right? there's, so a true there's a true you. <laughs> you know, you, you yeah. just got to be willing to, to yeah, stay yeah, yeah, and find yeah. it. I like that. I like that. 